All right, so we'll move on next to Mac2, who has five minutes for presentation. Is it going to be a video presentation to start with? You have five minutes. Five minutes for presentation. Um, we have, we're real excited. We're real excited. Pick it up. We're real excited about Mac 2, uh, Mid-Americon 2. It'll be the second time that Worldcon has been in Kansas City. Um, we have several special projects, and um, I'd like to introduce one of our division heads, Carrie O'Brien. She's going to talk about one of them. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Carrie O'Brien, and I'm here as the voice of youthful exuberance. <laughs> So as you can see on that guy's shirt, we're, uh, we're talking about the Video Archaeology Project, and that means Star Wars. Okay, so Mid-Americon in 1976, um, they basically recorded the entire thing. They had closed circuit cameras, you could watch what was going on in the rest of the convention all over the hotel, and now we're digitizing that content. So <laughs> basically, the reason that I'm here to talk to you is because this isn't about just people seeing their friends and seeing what happened. This is about recording history. And I confuse my chairs a lot because I'm really enthusiastic about this project. Um, I know none of these people. I joined fandom like five years ago, but the reason I did that is I'm joining a community. And communities are people. So they're also stories. And these stories <laughs> come to life for me with these videos. So I get to watch a panel about, well, this one is about con running. They're talking about how to book guests. <laughs> and this next clip here is, um, a, this is the Women in SF panel. And this panel is what started WizCon. So there's lots of things here. They're talking about pronouns. So it made history come to life for me. And I'm really glad to be sharing this stuff with you. Um, in the hallway is PR2. There's a larger article about this. There's lots of, this is not a Mid-Americon 2 project necessarily. We're helping organize it, like, because it's Mid-Americon. But the money is being donated by other organizations. So Wawa, Fanac, Cansmoff, the International Costumers Guild, these are the people that are helping us put this together for the community. And <laughs> I'm just excited. I don't know everyone's name in here but it, it makes me happy. The Star Wars stuff is especially exciting. I didn't bring my phone up with me, otherwise I'd be reading an email to you because we're in contact with people with Star Wars. Um, <laughs> so um, basically, one of the videos that we have here is a slideshow that was shown the year before the first Star Wars came out. And the video's not great, it's a video of a slideshow, <laughs> but the audio is good. And they're thinking about getting the, um, the original stills so we can put the video to it, the audio to it. So lots of exciting stuff. Leanne, I have to give the microphone to you. I don't have enough time, I guess. They didn't tell me how much time I had. So I'm giving someone else the microphone now. Sorry, um, we uh, are going to have a presentation tomorrow or a panel tomorrow on fanfare, which is something that we're doing differently at MAC2. Um, the uh, parties and the majority of the convention are gonna be, being take, ta be taking place in the convention hall. Um, this is mostly under exhibits. Um, our DH is Leanne Verholst and she, yay Leanne. <laughs> Um, she, she and the team that she has put together to work on this has been absolutely amazing and we'll have a lot more information on it tomorrow. Um, also, pardon? 10 a.m. 10 a.m., right. Um, be there. Um, also, we, uh, we have spots open if anybody is interested in working for us. Could our DHs please stand up who are here in the room? Yay. And, um, and if you are interested in working on MAC2, we're, we're a large and fun group. Um, we still have jobs open, and if you are interested in working for us, we would absolutely love to have you. We got a noise complaint from one of our 
Yeah, we were having a little too much fun. <laughs> so uh, with that, we'll turn it over to questions. With 13 seconds to spare, good job. <laughs> uh, actually, just uh, that uh, fanfare uh, panel tomorrow is in P1. I, so I didn't you know. say you could have the 13 seconds back. <laughs> Questions. Moving on to question time. Coming from behind you. Uh, let's see, what should we start with? How about a question for Worldcon 75? Do you guys feel like answering that one? No. Damn. It might be okay. Easier, um, okay. Can we just make uh, a question? So the question for, for, um, for, for, we'll start with this one. Uh, this is a question in many parts that I'm going to do terrible injustice to and, and get down to uh, a quicker version which is um, on accessibility, we recently saw uh, Worldcon able to provide sign, la sign language and CART, and the question is, is anything like that planned for your convention, and if so, where would it be covering? Uh, yes, it will definitely be at the business meeting, and uh, depending on budget, we will expand it beyond that also. Okay. Um, the uh, next question is, uh, what, are you, what is your group doing to reach out to local fan groups, both con running and non-con running in your region, uh, and encourage them to attend and possibly volunteer? One of the uh, unique positions that we've created for MAC2 is a local liaison, and uh, who can also stand up. And uh, she is uh, reaching out to various fan groups uh, in conjunction with uh, her, own, um, her own contacts and the contacts that are also available to her through other places in Kansas City. And uh, we're, it's sort of a multi-level process to do that. There, there's street team, yes. Um, there is a lot of fandom in Kansas City of a lot of different sorts in the surrounding area, and we're going to try to reach out to all of them. All right, next question. Will you put the names and, and email addresses of all your committee members on your website so we know who they are and can make direct contact if needed? That would be a question for our webmaster. All was oh. their emphasis, not mine. <laughs> That, that would be a question for our webmaster. If anybody had their personal, uh, had objections to having their personal um, email listed, then probably we would not do that. But we can, uh, everybody can be reached through general emails that are available. Uh, for instance, if you want to reach everybody who's involved in the programming division, you can, you, that email is available on our website. Okay. Um, then. We are actually out of questions for Mac, unless somebody thinks that they would like to ask a question of Mac that they haven't gotten to the front yet. With that, I discharge Mac. Ha ha, go Thank you. Fools. Thanks.